Good morning, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome to another day of teaching and learning. Let's remember that every student counts, and let's make sure that every moment matters today. Let's get started with our morning announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, and liberty for justice and all. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I'm excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am, a un oh, I am understanding of differences. I am a leader and I am a Bobcat. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I'm excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. Today, we have one staff member celebrating a birthday. We would like to wish a very special birthday wish to our grade K teacher, Miss Dickens. Miss Dickens, we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. Now, scholars, when you see Miss Dickens in the hallway, in the lunchroom, on her way to the car at dismissal, if you see Miss Dickens, I want you to do it just how we do it at the Hill by pointing to her and saying, Happy birthday! In today's Classroom Spotlights, we are shining a light on the scholars 
in grade four, specifically the scholars in Miss Fleming's class who were caught being ready to learn. Check out these pictures, which show our scholars working hard to do their math. Keep up the great work. We are so proud of each of you. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, I just want to talk to you about Friday. Friday is going to be the best day ever. Why? For two reasons. The first is that we will have our second Bobcat Bonanza on this Friday. And on this Friday, we are going to have one hour of free play. That is free play. That free play will take place either in your classroom or outside, but it is 60 extra minutes for you to do whatever you like. Why? Because you followed the 3R approach and you earned it. I hope you earned it. You know, in order to be eligible for the Bob Cabanaza, you can have four tallies only, four behavior infractions over the last two weeks. So I truly hope, I truly, truly, truly hope that you behaved while I was away taking my son to college. Huh. Now, the second reason that Friday is the best day ever is because we are going to have our first theme day. Now, if you are new to the hill, we have theme days all the time. Theme days where we dress up, dress down. We are going to, for our first theme day, we are having college or NFL day. And just because we can, we're going to combine that and let you wear some jeans on Friday. So if you are wearing your college or NFL team, your favorite college or favorite NFL team, you are able to wear jeans on Friday. I can't wait to see which teams or which college you are representing on Friday. Next up in our school-wide events and activities, today is the first day for Palm Squad tryouts. I can't wait to see which of our scholars are trying out for the Palm Squad. Now, remember you must have your permission slip, but if you have it, you need to be here in the cafeteria at 3.30 today tomorrow and Thursday for tryouts. Now teachers, now scholars do not get out of class early to go to Palm Squad tryouts. You are to walk them to the cafeteria at 3.30. 3.30, no earlier than 3.30, so we can make sure that there is proper supervision for those tryouts on today. And scholars, lastly, we have a change in our school-wide schedule. Our Title I parent meeting is being moved to next Thursday. Why are we moving it? Because we realized that we were asking your parents to come out two weeks in a row. And as a parent, that's a lot. And so what we're doing is, since your parents are already um, supposed to come to parent-teacher conferences on next Thursday, we're going to do a combination meeting where we're going to have our annual Title I meeting at 4 o'clock and then parent-teacher conferences will take place from 4.30 to 7 p.m. So tell your parents that this week, we don't need them to come out this week, but next week we are expecting them to come out and talk to your teacher. And they can talk to your teacher anytime between 4.30 and 7 p.m. on next Thursday. So when you get in the car today, when you get off the bus today, when you are picked up from daycare or aftercare, Tell your parents next Thursday, we need to see them next Thursday at four o'clock. That is how you will earn your out of uniform pass. All right, today is Math Fact Challenge Day. Today you will be taking quiz number two. Teachers, if, uh, if your students are slated to take those multiplication uh, fact challenge, there were copies located right in front of the sign-in table this morning. If you need additional copies, uh, text 
uh, text me or send someone to the office so that we can create those. We will be spotlighting our first two scholars in a moment. In our students in the spotlight, we are shining a light on two of our grade five scholars who mastered their first multiplication fact challenge. These two scholars are two of our K-5 STEP scholars, Lauren Avery Campbell and Denzel Brewer. We are so proud of the two of you. Be sure to stop by and get your wristband before the end of the day. Now, scholars, I hope you enjoyed our read aloud on Friday uh, about playing music too close to the zoo. That was a fun story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Today's read aloud is entitled The Grapes of Math, and it is a math riddle book written by Greg Tang. And so, my question for you today is how fast can you count? And we'll find out in a few minutes because this read aloud is interactive. So teachers at the end of each page, there is a question for students to answer. So if you would assign someone to pause the video so you can see how fast students can answer those questions for today. Today's read aloud is seven minutes and 30 seconds long, so carve out about eight minutes. We're really about 10, because you'll be pausing for children to answer the questions today. Uh, please take that time out so that students are able to see, test their math skills today. Scholars, I can't wait to hear who could answer those questions the fastest. Teachers, let me know which scholars are able to answer the most questions. You can have them write them down if you want to, and then let me know so we can spotlight them during the morning announcements this week. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. Together we must believe, together we will achieve, together we are real matter 901, how for talk today or teacher learning.